Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and this time I will show you guys another 10 brand new tweaks for iOS 11.3.1. So these are all new tweaks that have recently been released and of course all of them work with the latest jailbreak. Tab Video Config is a very useful tweak for the camera app. It allows you to change the configuration of the video, the frames per second, the resolution, all that directly from the camera app. You don't need to do it from the settings app. You will see it right here, just tap on that, it will show you this pop-up with different resolutions and different frames per second and you can go ahead and change them directly from here. Free RAM under Time X will add the free RAM memory here under the current time on the status bar of the iPhone 10. You can see right here we have the time and then we have on megabytes right there the free RAM memory that is currently on my iPhone. Low Power DND will add a new feature to your iOS 11 device. It allows you to enable automatically the low power mode once you enable do not disturb. So you can see right here, if I turn on do not disturb, you can see it will automatically turn on low power mode as well. If I disable it, it will automatically also disable the low power mode. Fast forward time is a tweak for the lock screen, you can see right here. What it does, it will actually add seconds to the clock on the lock screen. So pretty simple one, just if you wanna have seconds on the clock on the lock screen, you can go ahead and install this tweak for free. Safi, this tweak will add a bunch of new features to the folders on iOS 11. As you can see right here, you can hide the title, you can change or completely remove the transparency of the background of the folders. And you have other options as well, just go to settings and here you have all the options that you can enable or disable, like you can hide the folder icon, folder title, dots, you can use a custom color for the folder background, all that cool stuff. And then of course, respring the device for the changes to take effect. Swipe to hide. This tweak allows you to easily hide the dock and the status bar of your device. Hiding the dock is very easy. All you have to do is just swipe down on the dock just like this. You want to show it again, just swipe up again. On the status bar, you want to hide the status bar, you just swipe here on the left. You want to show it again, you just swipe on the right. As easy as that. Tap Spotlight will add a very nice feature to the iPhone 10. It allows you to easily invoke the Spotlight search simply by double tapping here where the home bar is on the iPhone 10. Down here, just double tap and it will invoke the Spotlight search. Shutter is a tweak for the camera app. It adds a bunch of new features to the camera app. Like for example, you can enable portrait lighting on the iPhone 7 Plus or you can also enable live photos. You can hide thumbnail, clean bars, you can have clean bars right here, you can enable haptic feedback, disable portrait mode or square mode, just go ahead and enable any of the switches for any of the features that you want enabled and then you will have them on the stock camera app of your iOS 11 device. Classic dock for the iPhone 10 is a new tweak that will add this dock style from older devices to the iPhone 10. Normally this dock would be like with rounded corners. This tweak will change it. You can see the new style. It looks pretty awesome. I really like it. The tweak doesn't have any settings to configure. All you have to do is install it. Fleeting Switcher 11. This tweak allows you to customize the app switcher of your iOS 11 device. As you can see right here, you can go ahead and make the card square. You can hide the icons as well as, as the labels of the app cards right here. So you have the options right here under the settings of this tweak. So you can swipe up to kill apps on the iPhone 10. That's a really nice feature. You can blur the app switcher cards hide the app switcher titles, unblur the switcher cards, square the switcher cards, anything you want. So you have a few options here and then a respring button for these changes to take effect. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tweaks. Go ahead and leave a like if you did and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys on the next one.